It opens, allegedly, with Freaky Starks versus Juice Robinson. But as Ricky is about to enter the ring, Jay White's music plays. Ricky is distracted. Juice attacks Ricky. Jay White does, in fact, run down the ramp and join in the attack. They Starks makes a brief comeback, but there's two of them, one of him. They cut him off, and Jay lays him out with a Blade Runner and celebrates for a long time. This was a very different thing. You don't see this kind of thing in AEW hardly at all. And uh, Switchblade did get a massive pop for his debut, that's for sure. Well, you know, I I didn't think about this at the time. But uh, now that I think about it, and I don't know if this is why it happened, but it was interesting. So they could have debuted Jay White at any point during the show. They could have de- debuted him in the main event. Or I guess not the main event because they were doing the career match. But they could have debuted him top of the second hour, right after the MJF thing, before. They chose the very first thing on the show to debut Jay White. And a lot of people noted that, you know, we just did have a Raw after WrestleMania. And historically, there were always debuts on the Raw after WrestleMania. This guy gets called up. This guy gets called up. This guy shows up. And all these big surprises. And we did have the return of Matt Riddle, but he'd only been gone for like three months, which is a long time. But So the very first thing they do on Dynamite, the very first thing they do on the Dynamite after WrestleMania mm. is they debut a brand new guy. Very first segment. And I don't know if that was by design, but uh, a lot of people noted that, and uh, that's what happened. We got our we got our big WrestleMania weekend debut on Dynamite, and nothing on Raw. So that was interesting. He did go to AEW. I thought he was going to WWE. He could have gone anywhere he wanted, but he chose AEW. And I wonder how much of that had to do with Vince coming back. I guess we'll probably never know unless he wants to talk about it someday. But yeah. You know, if I'd have been Jay White and Vince was gone and Hunter was in charge and they got so many guys in AEW, if I were Jay White, I probably would have gone to WWE. But now that this guy's back, not a chance. Not a chance. So anyway, I thought it was a good segment. Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? (laughs) I didn't get that one. (laughs) Knock, knock, who's there? (laughs) Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey made it home in time to watch SmackDown That's not how knock, knock jokes work. (laughs) We Bailey? What does that mean? She's small. It's we barely made it home. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. (laughs) Why did the referee... Referee's feet smell when he was working because he was a doody, doodle. <laughs> what? <Whatever>. what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> what? See, these, they, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.